Marco Lock, Reza? Hey. One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. It's just a few people, nothing big. I'm not planning on trashing the house or anything. You know, I don't think your dad is anything to worry about. I've always been pretty good about covering my tracks, haven't I? Anyway, what's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy, working on a story. Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours. Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. No problem. I didn't mean to pry. I know you didn't. You're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions, and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with. I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm, or the courage, to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit, sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour. What kind of favour? I'm a bit busy today, what with the party and all. Oh, of course. I guess I can get someone else to help me out. I mean, it's a quick job. I just need something picked up downtown. Well, I guess I could squeeze it in. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang. Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. Good luck with the party. I mean, 
the get-together tonight. Hey. Good. Great. Uh, actually, that was a total lie. Terrible. No date tonight. Right. Same thing here. I just don't have, you know, time. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye. We apologize, but there are no available taxis in your area. Please try again soon. way. Those things are loaded with nanites. Science periodicals. I used to be into that, but not anymore. Classy. Real classy. <gasps> Who are you? I'm here to pick up a package from Miss Chang. My name is Zoe Castillo. She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. I have an appointment with her. Can I wait here? No, I already told you, she's not here. We're closed, so I'd like you to leave. Uh, uh, thanks for your help. I'll come back tomorrow. By the way, that's beautiful pigmentation. What? Your hair. Beautiful pigmentation. What colour is that? I don't... I don't know. Just a standard shade that came with the... the implant. Listen, I... It's really nice. Looks very good on you. I've been thinking about going blonde. What do you think? Well, maybe. Listen, I don't have... I really need to get this done uh, before I'm done, so... And I'm very sorry to keep you, but I really do need... I already told you several... Maybe Ms Chang left the package for me. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to... to search for a package. I'd get out of your hair quicker if you could just give me two minutes of your time. Really? Could you just check in that room? Maybe Miss Chang left it in there somewhere. Oh, fine, I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are close. Thank you. I should be able to climb up there.
The gas was starting to leak through. Another few minutes. What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now. Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. Science periodicals. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here any longer. I probably owe you my thanks for saving my life. I, I wasn't really thinking. I... Look at me, I'm shaking. That's just the adrenaline. It's perfectly normal. Not for me. It's not every day that someone tries to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo. I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it, didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who tried to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as possible. What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabrielle? Your father? N no, no, I, I knew a Castillo once, a long time ago. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... Please deliver the package to Jericho right away, and thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey! Hey, wait! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. That's right, baby. Play your cards right today, and I might take you for a ride to the Reza doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open? Reza? Reza! He never leaves the apartment unlocked. This is weird. Okay. She's cold. So, oh no, not again. What the hell is going on? Find April. Save April. Those are those are eye commandos. Downstairs.
Go, go, go! Hands behind your head! Listen, I... I warned you! State your name and CID number for the record. What is this place? Who are you? State your name and CID number for the record. Zoe Castillo. Address and... Chardin de Rose. What were you doing in Mr. Tamiza's... Reza. I went to pick up a package downtown. Where did you pick up? A company called Jiva. They're located in the... And who did you meet at... Helena... Helena some... Look, I was doing Reza a favour. He told me to pick it up and... This Helena person. She had something that's connected to a story Reza's working... What kind of story? He didn't tell me. He never tells me. It really... I'm sure there's a good explanation for everything. If Mr. Tamiz attempts to contact you, Miss Castillo, you will call us immediately, and you are not to leave... Now, tell us again, from the top, what did Mr. Tamiz ask you to do for him? Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up, and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Um, hi. It's me. Your... your mobile's probably been switched off for, uh, for obvious reasons, but if we do get this message... Reza, um, please, please come home. I'm sure things can be sorted out if you just come home. I'm really worried. Call me, okay? Bye. Or send me a message, just oh, something, anything. Bye. Come on, Dad, please pick up, please pick... Hello, Zoe. Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. Zoe, there's a message. Hey, Zoe. Um, this is sort of awkward. Bonkers, I don't have time to... But remember the time we hopped the VAC tracks to Europolis without telling anyone, and you got completely shit-faced? What? I had to carry you to that sleazy hotel down on Jarl Street, and you spent half the night throwing up. The next morning, you bought me that antique lighter, remember? Zoe, this is Reza. I, um modified Wonkers a bit to make him play a pre-recorded message in case something happened to me. I don't want you to worry. All this means is that I haven't checked in with him for 24 hours. I'm probably okay. However, in case something has happened, I need you to do me a favor. I keep an updated copy of my notebook in my apartment at all times. It contains everything about the story I'm currently working on. I wire over my notes and research twice a day. I need you to get that notebook now and take it somewhere safe. If I'm... if I'm in trouble, get the information inside to my editor. You'll need to decrypt it first, so talk to you-know-who. She can take care of that, I'm sure. To find the notebook, I keep it somewhere safe. Go to my apartment and tell Lucia what I told you the day you left for Cape Town. She will find the notebook for you. I'll be here when you come back. Jesus, Reza. Please be okay. Like I said earlier, I'm probably okay. Maybe I just forgot to check in. Maybe Wonkers has malfunctioned. Maybe... Uh, maybe I just had to leave. Quickly. But get the notebook, just in case. You're the only person I can trust with this, Zoe. Keep it safe, and I'll see you soon, okay?
Central, screen on. Wonkers, my best mechanical friend. He's a genuine Watilla. Hi. Hello, Zoe. I'll talk to you later, Wonkers. Okay, Zoe, I'll be here. <laughs>